One of the most feared and respected names in West Coast organized crime from the 30s well into the 70s was Frank Bomp Bompensiero, who was based out of San Diego but also did business in L.A. and sometimes here. His nephew, Joe Bompensiero, has written a book about his relationship with the notorious gangster. He was eight when Frank enters his life and immediately referred to him as Nuputi. What's a Nuputi? So what didn't your dad teach you anything? Even at that age, Joe found his uncle rude and disrespectful. But my dad always respected him as the brother. And the different spellings were just a clerical error. We never thought of ourselves as different. It was family. The brothers took different paths. Salvatore, or Sam, learned to be a fisherman from his father. Frank had other influences as a youth. He went over to Sicily, spent eight, nine years there, honed his skill as a thief, uh, a ragamuffin, a hustler, whatever to support the family. Frank returned to the U.S., eventually the West Coast, where he had family, but he also developed a new family with crime boss Jack Dragna. That was his, his pseudo-father, if you will, uh, his godfather. And while Sam carved out an honest living, Frank's flashy style impressed their mother Maria, who saw him as a successful businessman. To her, he was figure the auto, my son of gold. At times, Frank's real family and gangland family came together. He met, and I met, Tony Spilotro, personally, at my father's funeral in 1970 in San Diego. It was an FBI agent that much later told Joe the truth about Frank. Said he probably killed over 20 guys that we can, that he told us about. Never been convicted of one of them. But it was Frank's relationship with that agent that spelled the end. According to uh, Jimmy the Weasel, we took him out because, you know, let uh, upset the apple cart and tell everybody everything. <laughs> they popped him. Newspaper articles indicated Frank had been an FBI informant. Joe still doesn't believe it. If anybody was never going to talk, it was Frank Bompensier. Another mob associate, Thomas Ricciardi, was charged with gunning Bomp down in a phone booth, but died before the case went to trial. We've got a link to Joe's book, Naputi, in the video vault section of News3LV.com.